no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Okay, the title of this video might be a bit misleading The Euro wasn't designed to fail Instead, it was designed to do what many of us view as failure. It was designed to fuck the average worker 12 ways to Sunday. And right now, the fuck fest is in full stride. It's like an orgy where the moaning all miraculously harmonizes into Beethoven's fifth. It's downright beautiful. The chaos we're seeing in Europe right now is exactly what the Euro was meant to do. Usain Bolt was meant to run. Roger Federer was meant to hit a tennis ball. Donald Trump was meant to... What the fuck does he do? And the Euro was meant to let banks and corporations run wild over everyone and everything. How can I make such an outlandish claim? Well, the man who created the Euro said so. You see, the Euro is the brainchild of economist Robert Mundell. And in the book Vulture's Picnic by investigative journalist Greg Pallast, Pallast writes about his interview with Mundell in which the Columbia professor and douche extraordinaire said, quote, the euro would really do its job when crises hit. It puts monetary policy out of the reach of politicians. And without fiscal policy, the only way nations can keep jobs is by competitive reduction of rules on business. Unquote. According to Pallast, Mundell then explained that this means labor laws, environmental regulations, taxes, and even privatizing state assets. Basically, Mundell's funny money makes it so that no matter what the people and the politicians of a country want to do, they have no choice but to sell their country to the wealthy, to the assholy of the now, titans of industry who have drooled over this evil scheme for years. The euro erases the will of the people along with their bank accounts and uh, their trees, and the dick who came up with it even said so. Where is that on your nightly newscast? You see, the key to the destructive power of the euro is that it lies in wait until a major crisis hits. It's kind of like the Incredible Hulk. You just think he's a chill dude. You're hanging with it at the bar until you make fun of his sweatpants, and then he grows to 10 feet tall and smashes your labor laws without a second thought. We are now seeing that crisis in Europe. Greece is burnt, Italy is on fire, Spain is smoldering, and that's just the beginning. Now these nations have no choice but to sell their water, their land, their workers' rights to Dr. Evil and his friends. I mean, Dr. Mundell and his friends. So when people tell you that the euro is failing, respond, oh no. The Euro is only a failure in the eyes of 99.5% of the population. For the people who created it, the Euro is a caterpillar that has just now become a butterfly, tattooed above the ass crack of an irresistible mistress named Greed. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. As mentioned earlier, the research and information in this episode is from Greg Pallast over at GregPallast.com. If you'd like to subscribe to the videos and get them in your inbox, just click on my left eye right now. Also, uh, if you want to check out some of my live stand-up comedy, a little bit different from the moment of clarity, uh, just, just click the link here. Talk to you later. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.